NW standing for non-woven? So it's a non-woven paper, and the advantage with a non-woven paper is when we um, use it in combination with a, a water-soluble paste here from, uh, from Graham and Brown, when it comes to removal, we can actually remove the, the graphic in one piece, and it will just leave a, um, a paper back on the wall, which can be easily soaked away. Okay. So, just looking at the uh, tools we're going to be using today, fairly simple. We've got a, a roller and brush to uh, apply the paste with. Um, we've got some applicators here to actually smooth the paper out with. Uh, some sharp knives, uh, a straight edge. I say it's quite a conformable straight edge, really, so we can actually get it nice and tight to the wall. And in this demonstration, I'm also going to be using uh, a guard knife or a joint cutter, okay, which prevents us cutting into the wall and damaging it. Um, wall we're using is a, an MDF wall here today. Okay, we've paint, it's been painted and, uh, and then we've added a seal. So I would always recommend using a seal when you're applying a wall covering. Uh, it gives the paste something to actually bond to and keeps the paste where you want it in between the wall and the paper. So, sort of product you'd recommend? I think so, you yeah. use this, don't you, Tom? We've yeah. used a, a Zinza Guards on this. Okay, I, I prefer it to, uh, to a PVA. Um, a lot of the glues we use in this trade are quite aggressive and will eat through PVA and actually eat through the paint then as well. Okay, so this dries as a, as a sort of hard, clear surface and, um, and I found it to be very useful. 